I may have gone too far. Let me explain. Pearson and I have been having a ding dong ditching war for the past month. Really, Lexi? But then I found out she was, yep, going to Singapore. And this war was not over. So I flew 17 hours to meet her there because she would never see this coming. I even found out what hotel she was staying at and followed her to her room. It was time for me to win once and for all. Hello? What? Wait, what do you mean? My dog's dead? How, how did this happen? Oh my gosh, this ruined my whole trip. Dang, maybe I shouldn't do this. She's really having a hard time. Pearson, you may have lost your dog, but now you just lost this game. But seriously, I am sorry about your dog. I've been on a handful of dates that have gone really well until I saw their outfits. <clears throat> Ew. So I went on a series of blind dates with 10 guys and eliminated them based off of their outfits and a few other things. Now, a lot of these guys were walking red flags. So I had my ex-boyfriend help me eliminate some of them. And let's just say they were not too happy. Oh, I think it's fine means the opposite, right? You're a little earthworm. The final three boys met my dad and he was pretty harsh. I honestly hope that she doesn't choose you. He eliminated one more guy and then we were down to two. Click the link in the comments to see who I picked. The other day, I went to the dentist by myself because my mom said, You're 21. You can go to the dentist by yourself. Lexi, we're ready for you. Let's get this over with. Oh, your mom's not here? No, not today. I'll be right back. Wait, what does she mean? Excuse me, everyone. Lexi's mom's not here with her today. If you see her, point and laugh. And everyone actually pointed <laughs> oh and laughed at me. Oh you see that? God. I can't believe her mom's not even here. <laughs> oh my God. Look at her dumb little face. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're ready for you. As the dentist began to look at my teeth, I could tell something was off about him. It looks like you're gonna need emergency surgery. This couldn't get any worse. So do you want anesthesia or the old fashioned way? What's the old fashioned? Mm. The other day I got a package from Mr. Beast. He's been sending me all of his chocolate bars and it gave me an idea. I gathered every single one of Mr. Beast's videos and I will be reacting to all of them. But there's a twist. I'm gonna be stopping this video once Mr. Beast screams. We have a lot of videos, so let's get right into it. Okay. Brent, the craziest thing happened to me earlier today. I was at the gas station and some guy came up to me and said, Hey, if you shake your butt, I'll give you the bag of Cheetos. No way, he said that? Yes, and it gets even crazier. I was on my way home and I saw him again. And this time he said, Show me your little toesies and I'll give you a little sip of this Slurpee. <laughs> For a Slurpee? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Oh my God, what a weirdo. Tell me about it. There's a bunch of weirdos around here. The other day, my mom woke me up and said, Lexi, remember we have family dinner tonight and you're saying grace. I shot out of bed and knew I was in for a long day. I practiced for hours and even made flashcards just to be sure I wouldn't mess up. The nerves really started to hit me once dinner was set and my family started to pile in. I knew that once I sat down, I'd soon be hearing the words I'd been dreading all day. Lexi, say grace. One last boost of confidence. Here goes nothing. Grace. That wasn't so bad, but who the f is Grace? I love McDonald's, but I've been to 47 McDonald's stores all over the United States and they've all told me the same thing. Uh, right now we don't have ice cream. How could this be? How can none of their ice cream machines work? It was time for me to pack my bags and all my favorite toppings and head to Japan to see if their ice cream machine works. As soon as I walked in, I headed straight to the counter and it was time to ask the big question. Hi, is your guys' ice cream machine working? Yes, it is. Finally, a McDonald's with a working ice cream machine. So, an ice cream cone? Oh, no, I'm lactose. Thank you. The other day, something traumatic happened. I was at a sleepover with some of my girlfriends and I could not find my sleeping jeans. Lexi, I don't know where your sleeping jeans are. What do you mean? You have to know where they are. It's 3 a.m. and why do you need jeans to sleep? Because if I sleepwalk, you won't know because I'll be wearing jeans. Okay, well, we don't know where they are. What about the jeans you're wearing? Are you sleepwalking? I'm gonna go for a drive. No, 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 no. Be invited. So I was just scrolling on my phone and then I realized it's already March, three months since the start of the year. And the only thing I finished is this box of donuts. I have four resolutions. First up, eating healthy. Yeah, well, we'll start that tomorrow. Next, hit 15 million subscribers. That doesn't look like it's gonna be happening today. Unless you guys hit that subscribe button. Next up. Next up, go to the gym. So I got dressed. Whew, thank God these still fit. Put my shoes on, did my hair, and was on my way. I am so nervous because I haven't been to the gym all year. But I finally built up the courage to walk in. Here goes nothing. Hi, I'd like to cancel my membership. The other day, I caught Andrew on a date with my grandma. This is the second time I've caught them together. My mom always tells me, Lexi, write your name on things that belong to you or I'm gonna throw it away. 
So I knew what I had to do. I decided to permanently write my name on Andrew. And then I kidnapped my grandma so that they could no longer see each other. And I'm not releasing her until I hit 15 million subscribers. Subscribe, please. I made the world's first unbreakable pinata. And we're gonna see if anyone is able to break it. Hit that subscribe button. Let's just say things weren't going too well. Almost everyone I knew had hit the subscribe button and nobody could break it. I even had a professional boxer give it a try. And he couldn't even do it. Hit the subscribe button if you think you could break it. I'm on a mission to find out if everything is actually bigger in Texas. Starting with the gas station at home. The gas station in Texas. It's over 66,000 square feet, has 1,000 parking spots and over 100 gas pumps. I even met Bucky, and we really hit it off. Even the cups are bigger. The store was so big, I somehow managed to lose Andrew. I don't eat meat, but I had to try their famous brisket sandwich. Hey, from future me, this was not a good idea. There are 83 bathroom stalls. 82, because I'm using this one. I guess it's true. Everything actually is bigger in Texas, especially Andrew's ad. I was just researching how to get to 15 million subscribers, and then I came across the myth that sauna suits are a quick and easy way to lose weight. I watched one video, and I was sold. I started doing everything in my sauna suit. I took a walk, filmed a video, took a nap, went to the gym. I think Andrew's checking me out. You look ridiculous and got embarrassed at the gym. I even went to the sauna in my sauna suit. It was time to find out if the sauna suit actually worked. I'm showing the results once I hit 15 million subscribers, so subscribe. I bought one of the world's most expensive first class seats. When I arrived, my airplane seat was actually more like an airplane suite. Like, look how cool this chair was. The suite comes with a ton of amenities like room spray, which is definitely needed because I'm sharing a room with Brett. Stinks. Honestly, not sure if the spray worked because he still smelled pretty bad afterwards. They even fed us not one, not two, but three courses. And don't even get me started on this drink. Like, are you kidding me? I even tried caviar for the first time. And the last. Luckily, they gave me a shot of tequila to wash it down. Bottoms up. But then I needed something to wash down the tequila. The suite came with a king-size bed, two TVs, and in a matter of no time, I'd be asking the flight attendant, once the plane lands, do you think I could just hang out here for a couple more hours? Absolutely not. She said I can. It was time to deboard the plane and say goodbye. Subscribe to have safe flights in 2023. One of my New Year's resolutions is to hit 15 million subscribers by the end of the month. I knew this was going to be difficult, so I had to get creative. The plan? Convince Jeremy that if he helps me get to 15 million by the end of the month, I'll go on a date with him. Jeremy was dedicated. A little too dedicated. Lexi, hey, it's you! Everybody subscribe to her! I was starting to regret my decision. Give me an S. Give me a U. Hurry the f up, Jeremy. Subscribe to Lexi. He was showing up everywhere. Breaking news, Jeremy Hudgens is now wanted. He has been terrorizing the public. If you see him, call the number down below. Jeremy's behavior was getting out of control, so I called the cops on him. I felt bad, but hey, at least I don't have to go on a date with him now. Subscribe to get me to 15 million subscribers. So many crazy things happened in 2022. I was nominated for a Kids' Choice Award and lost to Charlie D'Amelio. I was nominated for a Streamy Award and lost to Charlie D'Amelio. I hit 10 million subscribers on YouTube. I broke laws in the world's strictest country. I put snails all over Ben's face. I stayed in an invisible house. I met so many of you guys. Andrew never made a move. I traveled all over the world with my friends. I squared up with Andrew, pied Brent in the face, and I enjoyed every minute of 2022. So subscribe for good luck in 2023. Such a good movie. Yeah, it's good, but it's so unrealistic. Like a rat controlling you, please. Brent spent the rest of the week trying to convince me just how unrealistic Ratatouille is. Oh, sorry, there's a rat controlling my hands. He even started harassing random people. See, no rat. I'm sorry. And he somehow managed to ruin dinner too. Watch this, excuse me. Stop, don't do that. And you wanna take your hat off? See, nothing there. I don't know how many times I have to tell you, but rats can't cook. Subscribe if you love Ratatouille. My mom surprised me with two tickets to Disneyland. I was beaming with excitement, but something felt a little off. Mom, you missed the exit. Oh no, honey, I know a shortcut. She didn't know a shortcut. She was taking me to the dentist. I'm not Get going. Out. I'm out not going. Park. I am not. I'm not going. I waited not so patiently to hear the words that I've been dreading my entire life. Lexi, we're ready for you. No, I'm good here. Come on, it's gonna be fine. She lied. Everything wasn't fine. Say ah. Uh... Ah! Oh! I think I scared him. But after what he pulled, I have to keep a close eye on him. Please don't stare at me. Sorry. Just kidding. Looks like you need a crown. Turns out he wasn't talking about a tiara. Can you believe what this psychopath did to me? See, that wasn't so bad. Subscribe if you're scared of the dentist.
Would you rather have six dollars or double it and give it to somebody else? Double it and give it to somebody else. Twelve dollars or double it and give it to somebody else? I think I'll double it. Twenty-four dollars or double it? Double it. Forty-eight dollars or double it and give it to somebody else? Double it and give it to somebody else. Ninety-six dollars or double it and give it to somebody else? Let's double that. One hundred and ninety-two dollars, almost two hundred dollars, or double it and give it to somebody else? Double it. Double it. Double it. Double it. Double it. Six thousand one hundred forty-four dollars. Is there another option? Or double, double it. Double it. I guess I'll double it. Give it somewhere else. Double it. Would you rather have $98,304 or I could take out a loan so that I can double it and give it to somebody else? Double it. Double it. I'm going to double it. We're going to double it. $1,572,864 or... Or... Double it and give it to somebody else. Double it! Let's give it to somebody else. Right? What? What? Subscribe to get me out of debt. So I was just scrolling on my phone until I found something that I could not believe. Out of the entire world, there's only one Toys R Us that's still open. But it's located in Singapore, almost 10,000 miles away. But considering how upset I was when I first found out Toys R Us closed, I knew what I had to do. So I packed my bags and I was on my way. And there it was. And there I am. My friends and I were so excited that we even got dressed up for the occasion. She told us we were going to the club. I'm wearing a dress. I took a trip down memory lane and visited my favorite aisle. And I had to stock up on some toys before this one closes too. Even Dom ended up having a good time. And needless to say, I did too. Subscribe if you love Toys R Us. So I was just practicing my fake laughs. And then I realized Will Smith and I have the exact same subscriber count. So I decided to message Will Smith and present him with an offer that he could not refuse. And then I waited and waited and waited until the unthinkable happened. Will Smith left me on scene. I'll take that as a yes. This was such a surprise because I've been a huge fan since I was a little girl. If I don't win, it'll be a huge slap in the face. I'll see you at the finish line. Willard Carroll Smith II. If that's even your real name, subscribe to help me win this race. So I was just counting how many more subscribers I need to get to 10 million. And then I remembered, I haven't had meat in seven years. So I made my way to the place that I fear the most, the butcher. I met this really cute cow outside and we really hit it off. His name is Milkshake. And we meet again. I picked out a few things and then told the butcher that I haven't had meat in seven years. I don't he didn't care. care. I secured the bag and was on. Oh, sorry, milkshake. I made it look more appealing and then began to overthink this decision. I just have to do it. Hmm, this is actually pretty good. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. This was a huge mistake. I felt instant regret, not only for my stomach, but for my late friend, Milkshake. And this is why I'm a pescatarian. Subscribe for Milkshake. <laughs> Every Wednesday, I spy on Andrew, but this Wednesday was a little bit different, and here's why. Okay, Andrew just got out of the car, but he's with someone. Who is that? <gasps> it's my grandma! So I made a plan to confront Andrew. Go. Explain yourself. Is that the door time? Subscribe if I should date Andrew's grandpa. This is me, and this is Brent. He recently hit 20 million subscribers on YouTube before I hit 10 million. So I'm really proud of my son, Brent, but I'm a little disappointed in Lexi. She's not gonna see this, right? I began to resent my own brother. But then he invited me and some friends on a tropical getaway, and I couldn't miss the opportunity. I was so excited until- Congrats on 20 million, Brent! I knew it. He brought me here to rub it in my face. So I did the only thing I could think of. I deleted his YouTube channel. Now I can finally enjoy my vacation. Subscribe to get me to 10 million subscribers. Mahalo. So the other day I went to my friend Jeremy for relationship advice. Bad idea. Hey Jeremy. Yeah. How's it going? Not good. Well, you know that guy I was talking to? Yeah. Well, he kissed someone else. What? Mm-hmm. We well, gotta get back at him. Ow. Literally make out with the first person you see. Just kiss him. Really? Trust me, it's gonna make him jealous. All right, Jeremy. I can't believe he kissed another girl. Maybe Jeremy's right. Maybe I... Who's at the door? I'm not really expecting anyone to come out. Oh my God. Ew, he really expects me to give him a kiss? Not today, buddy. Do you wanna get back at him or not? Subscribe to give Jeremy a kiss. <laughs> Look what I sent in the group chat. <laughs> That's funny. It's weird, I didn't get a text. Um, you know what, it's probably just still sending. You guys didn't make a group chat without me, did you? What? No, we would never do that. Yeah, we made a group chat without her. <laughs> That's funny, Pearson. He's in the group chat? We don't even know him. I can't believe this. Were my memes not funny? 
Did I flake on too many plans? Did they even watch the hilarious TikToks I sent? I had to do something. So I got up, packed my things, left my loved ones, and started a new group chat. Subscribe to be added to my group chat. This is me, and this is Ben. Since Ben and I started our YouTube channels around the same time, we made a bet to see who would get to 10 million subscribers first, making Sunday, May 22nd, the worst day of my life. Don't get me wrong, I'm really happy for my friend Ben, but I couldn't help but think, how can I let this happen? Are my videos trash? Do I need to do more stunts? I had to do something. So I got up, took care of Ben, and then deleted his YouTube channel. Problem solved. Subscribe to help me get to 10 million subscribers. So I recently got a job as head chef at my local Arby's. And I needed someone to taste test my new recipe, so I thought, what better person to do that than my grandma? My grandma's a tough food critic. She's actually known for leaving bad reviews on Yelp. So I'm getting a little worried. And here you go. Thank you. Oh wow, looks like you hated it. I sure did. <laughs> have the meats. <laughs> Subscribe to pay for my cooking lessons. So the other day a light bulb went out in my house and my dad's been trying to fix it. The only problem is my dad is too afraid to ask for help. Why don't you just call somebody? Why would I call somebody? I could do it myself. So I took it upon myself to hire someone else to do the job. Hey Lexi, I got this stuff from. Who's this? Oh dad, this is Miguel. He's helping change the light bulb. Hey, what's up? Hey buddy, you couldn't fix this yourself? Hey, you don't talk to me like that. And one more thing, how many idiots does it take to change the light bulb? I'm not an idiot. Huh? I never called him an idiot. I know, just ignore him. So my grandma is actually a really good singer, but she's too shy to sing in front of people. So Lexi's grandma, my mom, has a beautiful voice from what I can remember. She used to sing me lullabies when I was a baby. Singing is what makes her happy, so it really breaks my heart that she's not singing anymore. I just want my grandma to be happy again. Apparently she has a really beautiful voice and I would love to hear it. And because she's so shy, we want to give her the opportunity to sing in front of her loved ones. You got it, Nana! Let's go! Come on! You got this! I go, Subscribe to pay for my grandma's singing lessons. So a few weeks ago, I bet money that I would win a Kids' Choice Award. And we all know how that went. Yeah. And because that bet lost me so much money, I had to sell my car and downsize. You know what, this isn't so bad. I think I could get used to this. But you know who is gonna have a hard time adjusting? Andrew. Andrew also bet on me to win. So he had to sell his car, and now I have to drive him around. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. We, we should, should have bet, bet on Charlie, Charlie D'Amelio. D'Amelio. This year I was nominated for a Kids' Choice Award. It was really cool to be acknowledged for something that I've worked hard at. Fingers crossed I win. And here's my boyfriend performing. Hi, Jackie. He doesn't know he's my boyfriend yet, but that's okay. Here it goes. Please say my name. Please say my name. Please say my name. And the blimp goes to... Charlie D'Amelio! Charlie D'Amelio? That's not my fucking name! Get it right next to your Kids' Choice Awards. I recently found out how much an ambulance costs. I had to do further research to be sure it was true. And there it was, right in front of my eyes. One thousand dollars. But I was not going to stop there. I needed proof. Hi, I need an ambulance. Okay, what's the emergency? Well, that's the thing, I don't really have an emergency. And we can't send over an ambulance, I'm sorry. Well, wait, but like... <sighs> so when I conveniently had an allergic reaction, there was only one phone call left to make. Hi, um, I need an ambulance. Is this Lexi again? Yes, but hear me out. You've been trying to get an ambulance for a week straight. But I'm having an allergic reaction. Hello? I blew it. All my research was for nothing. God, my eye itches. Anyways, like what if there was an actually... Oh my God, this seriously like is starting to hurt. Who knew I was allergic to the makeup? I'm about to learn how much an ambulance costs the hard way. Subscribe to pay for my hospital trip. So I was trying to relax after a long and stressful week. And don't get me wrong, it was very relaxing. Until, in walks this idiot. Like, hello, I paid for this single sauna session. Whatever, I'll just ignore him. Is this guy serious? Like, I've had such a long week and like, what was that? Okay, focus, whatever he's doing doesn't matter. Or does it? A bun? Okay, that's weird, but I guess I've seen weirder. 
Man, I really hope he doesn't pull out mustard. Okay, I can't ignore this anymore. At least he didn't bring ketchup. I can't believe my eyes. I really hope he doesn't eat it. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. This guy is a total weirdo. But I like weirdos. I can't believe you said that. I literally didn't even mean that. It was just a voiceover. There's video proof, Lexi. Like, okay, maybe I said it, but I definitely didn't mean it. Oh okay, my. there's a difference. Here's this is me, and this is Andrew. And these are the comments from my short last week. Because I may or may not have said that I loved Andrew. Yeah. I've been avoiding him all week, and he didn't suspect a thing. Have you seen Lexi? She's been hiding in the bushes like all day. She's weird. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for that meddling Andrew. He caught me. A lie detector test? Really? He's gonna do it. I know he's gonna do it. He's gonna ask the big question. Did you mean it when you said you loved me? I don't know what to do. If I tell the truth, they'll know. If I lie, they'll- No! I didn't mean it. That's true. But I love you. I decided to spend the night in a fish tank. Since I was gonna be in here for a while, I had to make it feel like home. I was already miserable and I had only been in there for a few seconds. You can subscribe quicker than that. I made a friend in the fish tank. This is Nemo. I made Andrew get in the tank and I don't think he liked Nemo, but I do think he liked the experience. Love you too, Andrew. <laughs> After 12 hours in the fish tank, I had to get out, but I love one-upping myself on YouTube, so... Starts filming TikTok. Interrupts my TikTok. I don't think he likes it. We've been here for like an hour and we haven't even started filming yet. Now hurry up! All right, Ben. Are you oh. kidding me? Welcome to our home. Uh, we need like a cue. Ben and I are going to relive the breakup in this video. <laughs> it is you all. Oh. We refilmed the breakup video right here. All right, so we are filming my YouTube video right now, and we are attempting to spend 24 hours in this moving van. Brent just drove us around, and he drives like a maniac. And to prove to you guys just how bad of a driver Brent is, look at the mess. He broke vases, he knocked over books. And he also sent the videographer flying. Yeah, check this out. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! That was good, I think. Damn aerobics, bro. <laughs> hey guys, so this is behind the scenes of my latest YouTube video. This is what really happens behind the scenes. Shut up! No, you shut up! I hate filming with you and your bad attitude. I hate just looking at you and just coming here. It's the energy. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh my! Stay tuned, guys. Yeah. We're not posting that. Let me see it. You already saved it. I swear I did it. <laughs> Can you wave toward camera for your individual intro? <gasps> who, are, like who are you on the phone with? On the, that's Baby's first go. swim, success. Baby's first swim, gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> What's my name? Mm. She's like, Brent Rivera. She's like, stop it. And then I'm like,